Good morning. I'm gonna try to turn up the aperture some because I can't turn on the light. So, it is the morning time clearly. It is 9.56 and it's eating time. Noelle's eating some sweet potatoes. Nala is just over here eating some French toast and bacon. Good morning. <laughs> As you can see, Noelle has gotten used to eating actual food and she really does enjoy this. And it really does help her out, especially, oops, a little much of that stone. It really does help her out when it comes to the whole sleep training thing. So, to give a little bit of update on sleep training, it's kind of like, I'm not going to say it's non-existent. That's all I was about to say. But the reason why I was about to say that is because it kind of happened fast. So after I filmed like the first video of me doing the sleep training, she pretty much sleep trained from that point on. So let me run it back. So the last video I said I didn't know when I was going to be able to record because we were going out of town. But when we went out of town, she... For the most part, stuck to the same schedule. I think they weren't napping as much as they used to because, you know, being in a new place, it was in a hotel, it wasn't the most comfortable situation. It was all in one room, which is a big mistake. So that's something in hindsight, if ever I have to be in a hotel again, I will not sleep in the same room, room as them because they need their own space because us being there are distractions and stuff like that so understandably there wasn't nap as long but for the most part sleeping was still the same she was waking up maybe about seven o'clock in the morning now at this point she typically wakes up for the most part around eight so since filming that video she probably waking up maybe once or twice right now we think she's teething so she has in the last like two nights woken up at random hours maybe around two usually we put them to bed around 8 30 or 9 we're trying to get earlier but with our lifestyle and the schedule that we got them on waking up at 8 30 a.m it's hard unless they end up going to nap a little bit earlier on their last nap which is around four they'll go to bed around eight yeah pretty much from that video on Yes. yes, she has really stayed in that room the whole time, not without a little bit of attachment issues for me. And the part of my anxiety is making it difficult for me wanting her to be in another room. I think that's a partially because that the room is kind of on the other side of the house and a part of me doesn't feel right. Any baby, let alone our youngest baby being yes. Yeah. get it out but in hindsight I really want both babies close it's only been like a week and a half so give us some more time sit on it maybe possibly put them in the same room as of right now Nala sleeps perfect through the night she doesn't have any issues even if she wakes up early she doesn't whine about it she sits there until 8 30 that's it I think for the most part she pretty much sleep trained in like two days so I am very happy about not having her in our bed or in our room for a, a year like we did with Nala. Um, but at the same time, it's a struggle for me because I still am heavily, deeply having issues with my anxiety. So, so far it is day three of taking back my life in a sense of when it comes to my health. Like I said in that video, I am really insecure. Even though I'm not able to, I guess, well manage my eating habits and eating more, 
it's really disrespectful to know that I'm still gaining weight on top of me not eating. So I'm really trying to take back my life and if I have to take extra measures to lose the weight that I don't want to have, then I have to, it just, it is what it is. So today I had the omelet with um, just a little bit of salt and pepper, tomatoes and spinach, and then I had two strips of bacon. I really didn't care for the bacon because we got some hickory thick bacon. And I'm starting to think hickory bacon is just salty. So we're gonna actually return that and exchange it for regular bacon. So I won't have that issue again. And then I'm um, hoping that by tomorrow or maybe the day after, I can finally test out this whole avocado toast thing. I'm hoping that it is good because I know I bought that bagel put everything on bagel seasoning thing. I'm hoping that I can be able to use that seasoning as well as have something that I feel like I can gravitate to that is just easy and healthy. I wanna be on the trend of the avocado toast. I don't know why, but it makes like makes me feel like I'm being healthy. I feel like I'm doing something with my life if I eat avocado toast. I also started downloading some apps that I'm hoping. You want water? Water? Yes or no? She's not responding at all. I'm gonna give it to her anyway. Bear with me, you guys. It's just it's just a lot this morning. Why did I just eat that? Speaking of water, I'm trying to do better in life and put more water in my system. My goal is to do a gallon a day. I feel like taking drastic measures and in, in taking my water. Water is something I've never been able to really intake outside of workout. So I bought a, a container that's supposed to be here today. I bought from Amazon yesterday. And then also outside of that, in the last couple days, I actually started doing like home workouts. I am going to start doing working out at the gym at a, like a 24 hour gym in the middle of the night because I can't sleep anyway. So usually when David sleep at 10, 11 o'clock, I can do an hour at the gym and the babies are asleep anyway. But as of now, it told me that in this app that I should so far be drinking 103 ounces. I'm gonna start drinking some water now. I'm gonna get these babies out of these high chairs cleaned up because I think they're done. And then we'll probably talk a little more as the day progresses. And I have some stuff to tell you guys. So. Sorry, it's like I'm in the same exact place that I actually left off on. Thing is, after we logged off, they played for a little bit and then it was roughly about time for them to go to nap. So I have Master going to sleep when they're sleeping. So we all took a nap and they got up maybe about an hour, a little over an hour ago. Um, it is 2.42 right now. I let them play and then here we are about an hour later eating. That's typically how I do it. I let them like wake up for about an hour and then we eat. I am feeding them right now, but my package actually came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to open those up. This is actually just the water bottle here. Let's open it with one hand. So this is the one gallon water bottle. I actually, and not as intimidated by this as it sound like it was gonna be. On the front, it just say 7 a.m. and then it'll say, good morning guys, at nine o'clock, go for it. 11 a.m., keep drinking, one a.m., awesome. A little bit more at 3 p.m., 5 p.m., never give up. And that's so crazy by 7 p.m. and then 9 a.m. again, and then it says got him. So, I guess it's just, Overall, one thing I was really worried about is like how would I really know if this is a gallon, but on the back side it actually says one gallon, so I am ecstatic about that. One thing I wanted was a little like nice little straw type of thing. This specific one is that the straw itself is like a silicone. The straw actually comes straight down to the bottom too. So today I'm not doing that well. It's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I've only 
had one water bottle. I haven't even eaten lunch. So the only thing I had so far is almost one and a half. There's not even one and a half at this point. This is just, I only had a couple sips. By the way, am I the only one that buys disposable coffee cups? I don't really like reusable things. Is that bad? I know in 2020, everybody on a reusable stuff. But every time I buy something that's reusable, maybe it's because I don't like washing dishes. Not maybe, I know that's it. And another reason why I do the disposable coffee cups is because I need to be able to disguise my drink from the kids so that Nala won't grab it. She doesn't like to see me drinking anything. So if I just had like a mug or whatever, she would have a fit. You know how it is when you got kids. Outside of that, I guess I gotta wait until David gets home. Let me text him, I need him to go to Target because I want to try that Raven Lee's recipe and I did put in the order at Target to pick up the instant coffee. Fun fact, I don't know if people know, but there's no lactose and I want to say no calories in coffee mate uh, creamer. I take that back, there are calories, but it's very, very low. The coffee mate is lactose free, cholesterol free, and non-dairy. So. If you didn't know, now you know. Most of the time I use this instead of sugar when I'm eating like oatmeal. But this whole big old thing, and this thing is huge, 66 ounces, it's only 35 calories. If you don't like dairy, this is non-dairy, so don't even worry about it. But that's all. Look who's home. Say hey baby. She just woke up, child. Got baby food she on had her a face. good good nap. It's like two and a half hours. Say who? Like two and a half hours. Now we gotta get Nala. Mm -hmm. Let's get her settled. Go ahead and get Nala. Get your couch back. Mm-hmm. Lay it down. Hi, Nala. Little, little, little. Don't. <laughs> well, that's not normal. That's not normal. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, she sees the light in the back. Yeah. No. Nala. No. <laughs> hey, baby. She uh, she want part of the camera. Hi, baby. Nala. Hi. Good job. Wave. Good job. I think you placed this under something, on top of something. All right. So, uh, what I was telling you guys about earlier finally came in. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Hopefully, without Nala trying to steal everything. All right. So I had to end up coming over here because Nala was just not letting me be great. So I'm gonna open up these. And this is probably the main thing that I was looking forward to. And let me turn down the aperture a little bit. Uh, with the beat up box or whatever. This is called a Bubba State or something like that. It looks like this. I got it off of Amazon. And the whole idea is that you should uh, basically stick this on a high chair and the baby can drink the milk by themselves. So it's, it says its height is adjustable, no spill design, keep bottle secure and off the floor, bends and twist, fully height adjustable. So let's take this out and then continue to read. So it has this little button here. And I guess that adjusts the height. And I guess, I don't know. So it seems to me that this is just bendable, but it doesn't angle down. That's that's what I'm getting from it. Let me look at it. Place the bottle on the cradle, adjust the strap to secure the bottle in place. The bottle must be facing towards the height adjustment button. Why well, I gotta be facing towards that? Let's just try it. 
I think I want to do this way. I know it says the opposite, but I kind of want to do this way. So let's do this. That's a good suction on it. I know it says the other way, but the whole point is this is for her to feel herself. Just grab this bottle that's no longer clean. That bottle ain't going nowhere, I'll tell you that much. I'm hoping that this works. Um, and how high does it go? Seems pretty high. It really want me to do it this way. Let's see how that goes. But if I do it this way, wouldn't the milk at the bottom, how would she get the milk at the bottom? Like you tell me. Like that doesn't make sense to me. For a baby who don't, I don't know, maybe is it because she can pull it down? Maybe when they get a little older. Yeah, I can dig it. What's the second thing I got? I don't even remember at this point. This is actually Nala's outfit that complement Noelle's outfit. So I basically got this little, it's so cute. This little like romper for Nala and it comes with this little headband. This is going to be so cute. You have to tie it, but I have to research how to tie it around the heads. But she has like the romper style with the little yellow balls on it. And then it has the same little balls on the bottom. And the one that I got for, for Noel, hers is like this. And it's just like a one piece type of thing. And this is Noel's or Nala's version. Nala's is a little bit darker. Maybe I should've got the same one, I don't know. That is cute, but I think I like the darker color better. Yeah, that's what I got. And when I go um, get ready to feed them, I will show you if that works out. But while I'm still standing here, I do wanna show you guys this Beeble. I call all my Bibles Beebles. But I did get this off of Amazon, thanks to Kayla, she kind of got this and I was like yes ma'am so pretty much what this is this is the tiny truths book this is like a zender type of bible book I gravitated towards this one when she showed it because it has like really detailed pictures in here I'm trying not to lose my bookmark but if you look at it it is very pigmented as far as colors go it's a little bit more intriguing to look at and the biggest thing that draws me to this book and by the way if i didn't make that very clear this is the entire bible in kid form so one thing that made me gravitate towards this book is that um it's actually like one big story of the bible this is a book that you're probably gonna read forever and ever the bible's one book that you never fully <laughs> tend to learn it means different things at different times but the stories in the bible is one thing that i want them to have knowledge of especially during this time of quarantine we're not going to church we're not in the atmosphere we're not in the kingdom child i really like this you like this book babe yes uh i probably should be finishing my water bottle so i can start on my next water <sighs> y'all this water thing is so difficult so both of y'all can see all righty so now we're on joseph do you see joseph joseph in the blue do you see noah but he's wearing green he's wearing brown and he's wearing blue abraham's tribe was beginning to grow isaac grew up and had a son called jacob you see him wearing the rainbow you see him he has rainbow Rainbow. Jacob's heart was broken. He thought he lost his son forever. So sad. Can we say sad? Sad. 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 But Pharaoh heard that Joseph could understand dreams. So he asked Joseph for help. Can we say help? Help me. Help? Help me. That's the Pharaoh. You see the gold? And the thin cow? And the fat cow say moo, 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 yeah, moo. 
A cow goes moo. All right, so I was trying to show you the situation with the bottle. I don't know if she's gonna be into trying it. She did before I clicked it down, but she stopped after I pushed play on filming. But I don't know, I can't say anything yet because it's. Mama. You gonna eat? She don't want me to say. Yeah, she trying to talk. But I think we're just gonna go ahead and exit this video out here. Yeah, but as you can see, I'm just trying to get gain control. So even if it's not for nothing, I'm hoping that by starting this journey, this lifestyle of getting a little bit better that it encourages better mental health. So I think David is trying to get a little bit better himself because I think he's not 100% happy yeah. with where he is gotta either. Slim it, slim it. Gotta slim it down. Yeah, so if y'all see my fupa, don't be coming for me. Okay, I'm human. But outside of that, definitely love you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog.